Good afternoon YouTube, this is Veteran Mountain Man coming to you again, and today we are going to discuss more about 1776 conservatism. So, for those of you who have not read your state constitution yet, I urge you to, and for those of you who are new to my 1776 podcasts, I urge you to start at the beginning with the federal constitution and then work your way down to your state. Uh, today we are going to discuss economics. Now, I know there is this huge discussion about whether or not socialism is good and whether or not socialism is bad and why is ca capitalism bad and why is capitalism good and we should all move to communism. And I know that a lot of this has a lot of feels to it. So I'm going to break this down factually. Communism is amoral. Karl Marx specifically stated, and I quote, uh, I'm not going to quote actually because I can't seem to find the page number now, that all communist revolutions must do away with the morality, the ethics, the social cues, and the religion of bourgeoisie society and replace it with nothing in order to achieve a lasting communist idealist society. That is an amoral concept. That is an abandonment of all social graces and contracts that we hold dear for nothing. And that's not a moral decision to make. That is actually an unethical, immoral decision. Now, we move on into socialism. As we were discussing yesterday, socialism actually advocates for the theft of one's individual earnings and property via force. And we can see this time and time again throughout Europe where the countries are some of the most socialist countries in the world. Look at Denmark, as we were talking about yesterday, with their 56.4% uh, income tax that affects the entire nation. That is the national income tax, people. Even the state of California, with California's income tax and California property tax, plus the federal government tax, if you own a business and hit the alternative minimum tax, you are only at 54%. Think about it. Denmark starts there. And on top of that, they have a 25% sales tax on everything you buy that isn't a piece of newspaper, which is published by the Denmark government. That is socialism. And realistically, even socialism is immoral. Because socialism calls for the theft of personal property. It calls for the thieving of your income for the labor you have performed in order to benefit those you have not chosen to give it to. Now, capitalism, on the other hand does not exploit the worker. Instead, it allows the worker to advance. Capitalism allows for the most mobility between individual class sets and allows for individuals to better their standing in society simply by working hard. If you want to go from making minimum wage to making millions of dollars a year, you can invent something. You can write something, you can create something that people want, and you can then turn around and distribute it to them. You cannot do that in a socialist country. Why can you not do that in a socialist country? Well, because even if you do do it, you're going to be charged 56.4% income tax on all your earnings. So that million dollars you made... Oh no, it wasn't no million dollars. It was more like 400,000 
dollars. You still put in the work that another person here in the United States would have put in to make that million dollars. And they made that million dollars and then turned around and walked away with about uh, 650000 of it. You, on the other hand, in your Denmark got 400000 of it. And that doesn't even include your sales tax yet because you had to pay sales tax on all those raw goods that you bought to publish and print your book. So that's going to be another 25% off the top of what the expenses were. So why would anybody willingly enslave themselves in that nature? So this is why 1776 conservatism chooses capitalism. It chooses it because it is the freest of market expressions of an economic system. Now, are there problems with it? Yeah. Yeah, there are. And we need to ensure that monopolies do not artificially create. Because even not monopolies that are artificially created or not monopolies that are naturally created are dangerous to the capitalistic society. So, the 1776 idea is to push further for free market solutions and to push further for individual freedom. So, I urge all of you 1776ers out there listening to me to found your own company, to create your own product, to go and be independent and do what the government cannot do and make money and be prosperous and multiply. Thank you all again for joining me today. Remember, you can visit me at minds.com forward slash veteran mountain man and discuss this topic or any other topic you'd like with me. If you want to debate this particular set of content, please leave a comment below and I will respond to you as soon as I am able. Once again, I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you have, please like and subscribe. And I hope you have a nice day.